Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I have no idea, no idea what we're doing besides mayhem. Uh, upcast. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Why, why hoard it? Oh, well, I'm so glad. Not enough movement? Okay. Uh, well, I'm, uh, this thing? This thing's gonna fly. Uh, apparently not that far. Apparently it does not go very far. No one stopped me yet. No one stopped me yet is an excellent way to live your life. You're running up to here. Can't slow down. Maybe I hide right here. I'm ready. Or maybe it shut down because somebody got close to it. See, see if she's safe, and we will we will dash on over to here. Phew. I wanted to examine these strange objects. I didn't want to punch them. You good? You good? Maybe it's just like deactivated now. I don't, I don't know. Is that blood? No. I'm never gonna mind. hit it. I have a bludgeoning weapon. Not a slashing weapon. I wonder what the next move is. Apparently I need to use radiant damage. No harm in a little conversation. No harm in a little con we ain't talking. We ain't got no time. What's that? That was a table. I thought that was a, like a trap door. I was like, oh buddy. Um, I'm trying to be able to see if I can get an angle on it from the bottom, but it does not look like it. No? I must keep going. Hey, good looking. You know what? Let's see, yeah. Well, nice. you definitely have a bludgeoning weapon, so... Okay, so she can break it, and I can't. Okay, we deactivated. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, it's still acting like it's got health, but we've deactivated it somehow. Where am I needed? I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you over here. Apparently, over Keep this way. Pace. Okay. Okay, so we've deactivated them. Now I'm gonna exit that mode. No one back home will ever believe this. And we'll look at some stuff. <laughs> Heavy chest bronze ingot. Okay. Letter D Oh I don't want that. I don't want that, just kidding. I don't know what the ingots are going to do me for, but... Read. Dearest year, I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll even read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone for ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernan to fill these halls. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't think of... I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if I only had been less stubborn. Working... On your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you, despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences are penned below in a different hand. I waited. I waited until Tarshak. I'll always wait for you, but you didn't come. That sounds like the, the spark struck guy, maybe? The lightning work? But Lenore is the one who is apparently off doing her own thing. Oh, you're Sparkstruck! Yeah! Yeah! Okay! Uh, Lenore is the one who could maybe help us with the mushroom. That's who, that's who can help us, maybe. Yes, that's right. She can maybe help us with mushrooms. 
that are prone to make people mad. Yeah, I'm picking that up. I don't know if these. I don't know if letters will be useful someday. There is work. Do you do. have a decent dexterity? Um, so far, she has the highest. So. And what might you be hiding? Lock pick. Let's pop you open, shall we? And she could do that. Okay. What be in here? Wow. Oh, what? Only does three to six damage? Lame. We can give that to Carlac, but... Oh yeah, we have the dirt mound we could look at. Ooh. A mace. I don't want it. I do want the money. Very well. And what did it say? An arcane cannon? Yeah. That was pretty easily defeated. 95 XP for what? Arcane Cannon. Well, I believe these are the ruins that we could see from the distance. Not 100% not sure, but... Oh, not me. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Well, okay, let's see if I have a key. Uh, okay, no, nope, I don't have a key. I was just on the off chance. Let's get this lock to yield. Maybe? Ooh, dang it. Again, because she doesn't have any inspiration, so don't bring her out. Oh, gee, I was like, nope, but apparently we rolled well on the guidance this time. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, no loading screw. Ah! Breathe deep and move. I was trying to. Oh, okay. Well, let's do. Let's do this. Hmm. You restore two key points. I don't need to do that. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Oh, dang it. I was curious how that would do. Y'all, I need to get it, my turn over with. Okay, well. <laughs> She's like, whoa, wow, okay, that sucked. <laughs> okay. Let's get going. Love that. What's in here? I'm pretty oh, broken machinery. Okay. I don't make anything ever, but here we are. Nope. What? I would love to do, like, a check on this. Like, what is this giant broken glass machinery thing? One day I'll catch a break. There's cool crystals. Ooh, there's an outside. Ooh, there's another door. Let's open this one. Oh, what? Ascend, descend. That is not... I, I thought it was like a broken experiment tube. Apparently, it is a way to get around. It is an elevator. Chest of the mundane. Yee! Yeah. From that chest, I can feel it. 
Yeah? So, what, if you open it, will it? Arcane brazier. Doesn't look like I can light these. At least not by normal means. Hmm, well I can't use my radiant stuff. Uh, maybe we would need, need lightning? I think I have anyone have a lot on with my mind. lightning. And, well, in it. I feel like if I take these items. Wait. Did that just transform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I was like something. Ooh. Oh, scroll of protection, good and evil, Mistress Grace. Scroll of magic armor, gold ingot. I don't know. I need to organize my stuff. I have so many things. Good. All right. Well, I have. Who wants? Uh... Let's get on with it. We did give her Misty Step Boots. Defender Do you want Misty people. Step Boots? No, he has Misty Step already. La, da, da, da. I don't know. We like those boots for her. Well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. I'm good. Okie dokie. Now let's go over Light to on this my feet. one. Curse to put my hands on everything. Truly. Uh, oh, like, what is that? But it's the aspect of the elk. Anything out here? No. Those are just mushrooms. Okay. It's a cool tower. They did, they did a really cool job with it. Let's go, um... Let's go F5. <laughs> let's make sure everyone's in here all the way. And, uh, I don't know what's waiting for us down here, but... Nothing's happening. Oh. But it doesn't look broken. Oh, I could do ascend or descend. Okay, I can't do it. Whatever it takes. I wanna ascend. Not a budge. Better take a look around. Better take a look around. Oh. Sharp as let's ever. see. Well, let's see if anybody can do it. This thing runs on magic. Oh, okay. There must be a way to get it working. So we do need a light. Moving in. Some stuff. Did we open let's this see. door? Open up. What was the stuff I just got? Light. I have light. But I can't cast it on these braziers. There's like all this piping going on. Hmm. Did that work? I think it I think it did. No? Nope, it was just guiding boltified. I was curious if the radiant damage would do anything. Well, a dusty book. Okay. Read. The beginning of the book proudly declares it to be a play by Dame Inia, followed by an extensive introduction and 23 pages of notes on the text. Although the book itself seems barely touched, one stanza is encircled twice. There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. And in its wake, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that one can thrive. Seems like the owner was quite the literary oh, type. look at me! Um... I 
do any of us have lightning? What's next? I, I think wonder. only Gale has lightning. And I don't think I have any scrolls. Oh, that helped. Wow, I did not get any spells back. Or no, that was Shadowheart. Didn't get any Never spells back. Never a dull back. moment. Just some little guys. Um, maybe we, I guess, leave Will behind for now. First in my heart. First in my wow. We are just apparently loving everyone in this one. Well met. It's funny. Um, are you sure? I've actually the blade stand and ah, uh, like I, you know, I try to split up who I'm romancing. You know. I do enjoy our conversations and with... in one of my games, I was intentionally going to romance Will, right? Wonder if the and gods then are uh, me. in another game, I inadvertently had started to romance Will. Wizard's tower is his sanctum. Private place. Research. Respite. But as this wizard's not home, I say we take a peek. Oh, is that what... that? That's how it works. That's great. Okay, Gail, I, I know you're not looking so hot in your profile picture over here. But, um, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to tell me some stuff. Let's see if he Charmed, I'm sure. has anything to say about these buttons. This contraption is powered by magic, but its magic seems to be gone. Or dormant. I don't know. I'm looking it up. <laughs> if this is a puzzle, I'm missing some of the pieces. This walkthrough says that you gotta snake your way around the outside. No wonder some of the boots we got were Misty Step boots. I believe... Yeah, he has Misty Step. Um... Apparently, yeah, we have to snake our way around the outside. Somehow? Oh, look at that. Okay, there's a door. It said through, like, broken windows and other doors. I was like, are you serious? But apparently they are serious. Or at least that's one method that this article has figured out to do. Maybe there was something else I was supposed to get along the way that would give me, like, a power source for this tower. But I don't have it. <laughs> So I had to leave for a bit, and then it turned out to be longer than a bit, so it has been a day. But I do distinctly remember that we are attempting to, to clamber down the outside of this tower, at least here. Hmm. And in... So do we have... Yeah. We can't miss these steps where we can't see... But we do have the scroll of Featherfall. I just don't know. I think I'd have to turn it. Like, like uh, do, um, what's the word? I would need to, th this, turn-based mode. Um, do we have everybody here? Let's, let's do it. Okay, turn-based. Okay. Uh, so I don't waste my my turns. Let's even see if- I don't even know if I can. Uh, just let me do it. I don't know why I can't just like jump sometimes. Oh! I was like, is it gonna <laughs> let me- oh! Oh, why is that highlighted? No. If I broke it, maybe something would happen? Ooh, there's something glowing in there. Like, my characters, these characters will... Oh, maybe this one's better? This one's better. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, my characters will walk into lava. But they won't... Most excellent. Let's actually just exit turn base mode and get everybody out here. 
Uh, they'll walk into freaking lava, but they won't jump off of it. Like, they don't give you the opportunity to, opportunity to jump off a cliff whenever I want. Find that weird. I might not even need feather fall, actually. Look at this. I know you two can do it. Come on. Let's move. Does look like Featherfall helped a little bit. I think these guys would have taken a little bit of damage. What now indeed? Now we are in the Never wanted okay. the easy path. We've got water. Do you mean to water your mushrooms? Oh. Cannot. Okay. The Red Bear Book. This Red Bear Book looks like it once contained a play, but most of it's been lost to time, vermin, and an unfortunate ink spill. Only two full sentences are distinguishable. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself the darkest me? My darkest me. Sounds like something I wrote. Oh my gosh, look at that. And, uh, ooh, right, let's get rid of that immediately, actually. Syndicate. Sounds like something I wrote in middle school, is what I was trying to say. Well, we have the bathe in nearby area in light. Yes. So something something's gonna happen with light. Gross. I feel like I'm running a little low on food, too. I'm a little concerned. Just, everything's here moldy, though. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. This is like a. They had like a, a nice. Something good here, right? Oh, garden set up in this part. I love a place that, like, you know, you have mushrooms and whatnot all around outside, but you still wanna. Oh, isn't a Timisk something that we needed? Yeah, the devil's mushroom for its mind-altering capabilities. Should I? Hang on. Maybe I should collect one or two or several? Oh! To miss scores! Okay, well, here you go. Always room for more. Maybe I don't have to hit anything. Yes! Journal updated helping me investigate the parasite. Where in the world was that? That was not there before, I swear. Once we find the tongue of madness. The tower belongs to a cleric of Mistra named Lenore. She's fond of gardening and experimenting on plants, such as a Suso tree. Okay. We can find both of those in the mysterious tower nearby. Maybe I am just illiterate. I do feel weird that we are just raiding this person's house. I think her pronouns she. But I feel weird that we're just raiding her house. Like, it has obviously been a while since somebody was here. Either that or she lived in total destitution. And I was hoping... Let's see. It is also apparently a tower dedicated... Not dedicated necessarily, but to a cleric of Mr. Cleric. Was she a cleric? She at least was a mistrup aligned person. What do we have here? Aspect of the elk, okay. I hope I can cancel that <laughs> and go into the other one if I want, if I so choose. Alright, I only see those, those doors, the ones I came in, can we we do something here? I mean, it kind of said to keep going, it seemed. 
We have to maybe go through some broken windows? Maybe there's a side that's more... Uh, the side is definitely more ideal. But where would we go? Freaking go out there. Whoop whoop. I don't think so. This side lets us down. But whither to shall we go? Just down down? Like all the way down maybe. Could I not access? Oh, there's a little Suser bark tree. Suser tree. Suser bark tree. Naming a tree after its bark. Although, to be fair, it's a lot of redwood. You know, it's a tree named after its bark, kind of. Okay, maybe we hop, skip, and jump down. Does somebody have feather fall not in a scroll form? I don't really mind using a scroll for it, though. Let's see. Scroll of greater invisibility. Scroll of polymorph. I have so many. If I ever, if I ever have a, an issue, I need to just look at these. Blur. I should just start throwing these out at myself, honestly. Like any, like any of my squad, you know. Let's see. Oh, I have the magic. Oh, touch. I have the magic touch. <laughs> Gaseous form would work for an individual, but not for the squad. Who? Do you no have feather fall as a spell? We might actually, if I, I can maybe switch his stuff up. Let me burp my magic. You know, I'm a big old dum dum. I should have had him learn feather fall. Should have had him learn feather fall, and then uh, we could have used it. Well, then, yeah. I am pretty sure that what's his name has Featherfall Will. So it turns out nobody I have has the spell apparently, but I am Ill just illiterate and I do have two scrolls of Featherfall. Let's see, blah blah blah. I have a potion too. Hmm, split item. I do want to give one. Gail and I will let him learn it. Quite ready for you. Quite ready for you, thank you. Okay. We now have the option to have Feather fall on Gail, which I could have sworn we did before, but now we do. This music is so intense for the tower. Uh, what do I want to do? I do want to just use my spell, I think. My scroll. No one stopped me yet. Are we all... Wait. Is somebody... Who tellied down? Who... Who... T I'm gonna scream. She's already down there because she somehow teleported into that room. I'm not even gonna go to her, honestly. I don't wanna trigger anything, which she would have triggered it by now, I guess, but she looks, looks like she's in the elevator. Why does this, why does this game do this? Like, how can they not all just sit here? <laughs> like, uh, teleport exactly where we came in at. Let's get going. Join us if you can. She's coming. Um, I, mean, On my way. I don't really want a Suser Bloom, but they're here, you know. Maybe I can just send them to camp. I cannot. Hmm. Whoa! What's that? Oh, she's stuck. Oh, she's stuck behind the door. The locked door. She's behind the locked door. Weave moss. Acorn truffle. Fly. Thank you. 
Appreciate that. I don't think there was anything crazy in here. Let's see. Let's have don't Gale use his uh, his lock or knock spell. Boop, 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 boop. Nope, spell book. Um, we're going to get rid of that one. Do knock. Ooh! Ooh! That's fun, actually. <laughs> a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Let's see. A Sylvan Stone. I'm just. Lolf's can't. She's got a bunch of. Gem things here. Love that. Ink pot. Any notes? A cauldron. A lever. Oh. Maybe that'll put power into the building. But first, before we do anything crazy. Swift as my feet can carry me. That might be worth a look. What's worth a look? This? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm way too I don't, big. I don't, I don't want to go out there anyway. Do I? I don't know. Oh, it pops up. Okay, I see. It pops out right here. Why would I? I guess I could have done that from the outside. Could have gotten in from there. I guess. Dragon egg might mushroom. be useful. Book. I see a book. Anything on here? Wither blue petal. Anti magic properties of blah blah blah. The anti-magic property- I thought it said enigmatic. The anti-magic properties of the Susur bark or Susur tree flowers. For those knowing about Susur trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough that even those unattuned to the weed can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly, to those living in the world above, the ways its roots, bark, and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I myself created items that have anti-magic properties, and that the use of magical absorption of Susur tree flowers as a power source. Lines have been drawn on the following pages as if the author intended to fill them with writing, but the remainder of the thin book is blank. Okay. What was... Rag. Nice. Thanks, 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 thanks. Disorders of the Nerves and Mind. There came to me a woman whom I shall henceforth refer to R, greatly distraught at the usual... I think we already... Yes, yes, yes. We already read this. Snatch the book from... Uh, yes. I remember reading that. Buttons to push. This is... Def yeah, power generator. Why? But I have it. <laughs> Let me look up these stairs. Was this room accessible before? No. Okay, this is all... No. Okay. I was going to be mad. Whoa. Ooh. Detect thoughts. We already kind of had that. Well, let's go ahead and turn the power on then. Well, I think this is the power, who knows? Better not be cursed. Nope, just the door lever? Really? Okay. Well, I guess I'll poke the power generator itself then. I thought it was a power switch for the generator. Combine... Ooh, the pedal, I bet. I bet, because the pedals are right here. Haha! <laughs> oh. 
maybe I actually do need the Suser. The blah 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 blah. Alright, I don't want a whole crowd of people. Okay, I was like, uh. <coughs> Blue fire. Oh, creating a power source out of an anti magic power source is an interesting uh, concept. Ooh. It looked like spirit lamps. I wonder if this was Lenore's tower or if she like just took it over because they're like oh yeah Lenore's over there but this thing is falling apart dang it I did all that without being connected I bet you Gail was gonna say some stuff um now we can operate the the blah blah blah, you know, words. Come on. I think I am going to call it here, though, before we do anything crazy. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.